क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ मेनी आयॉन्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम द कॉम्प्लेक्स सी यू सी वो एन एच थ्री सिक्स टाइम्स सी एल टू ए वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन सो बोथ दीज क्लोरिन आइटम्स कम आउट एज टू क्लोराइड अयॉन्स टू माइनस मीन्स दिस इज टू प्लस द कॉम्प्लेक्स अयॉन इज ऑलवेज वन इट वॉन्ट स्प्लिट सो द टोटल नंबर अयॉन्स नंबर ऑफ अयॉन्स आर वन कॉम्प्लेक्स अयॉन टू सिंपल अयॉन्स टोटली थ्री सो ऑप्शन सी coming to question number 2 the oxidation number of cobalt in k co uh, co co4 times k co cobalt co the four times this is potassium tetracarbonyl cobalt 8 minus 1 let us see so the charge carried by k is single plus charge carried by the complex ion is minus 1 carbon monoxide is a neutral ligand its oxidation state is zero so x plus 0 equals minus 1 x equals minus 1 so the oxidation state of cobalt is minus 1 in this complex options given are plus 1 plus 3 minus 1 minus 3 so option c is the correct option coming to question number 3 what will be the correct order of the absorption of wavelength of light in the visible region for the following complexes Number one, Cu NH three four times two plus. This is named as first. Then comes C Cu Cn four times Co Cn four times two minus. Then comes Cu. H C U C U H two O the four times two plus. These are the options. These are the questions. Question is, what will be the correct order of absorption of wavelength of light in the visible region for these complexes? Nobody. This is slightly difficult question. Observe the ligands: ammonia, C N minus H two O. in the spectrochemical series cn minus comes in the cn minus is a very strong ligand i uh, yeah, yeah, strong uh, yeah, stronger than nh3 nh3 is a stronger ligand than water that means crystal field splitting energy will be maximum for cn minus minimum for water in these three more the crystal field splitting energy more the frequency of the radiation absorbed less the wavelength more frequency amounts to less wavelength so among them the strongest ligand is cn minus the wavelength of the light absorbed is minimum in the case of cn minus maximum in the case of water wavelength is maximum uh, for water cn minus is the strongest ligand it absorb the highest frequency radiation highest frequency means smallest wavelength so the order is the wavelength of the light absorbed are in the order h2o more than nh3 more than cn minus so uh, which one h2o comes this means third nh3 is first cn minus is second 
third is more than first, more than second. Again, I will repeat: stronger the ligand, high, small, higher the frequency, smaller the wavelength. So the, uh, this option is the correct. That means in our uh, uh, questionnaire, option C is correct. Option C is correct for the question number three. Coming to question number four. When one mole of CrCl3 dot 6H2O is treated with excess of silver nitrate solution, three mole of AgCl is formed. Three mole of AgCl is formed. The formula of the complex is three mole every mole of AgCl. Is equivalent to one Cl minus three mole of AgCl means there should be three Cl minus in this compound. Three Cl means Cl minus means three chlorine atoms must be outside the coordination sphere. So it should be like this: Cr H2O six times Cl3. Only this complex can give three Cl minus. Suppose chlorine is in the coordination sphere, that is within the square bracket, it cannot ionize. It can ionize only when it is in the uh, outside the coordination sphere. Therefore, this should be the correct uh, structure of this complex compound. So, let's look at the options: option A, B, C, and D. So, option D is the correct one for this question. Question number five: The correct IOPAC name for PT NH3 the twice Cl2. Yes, you just recollect what I said before writing the IOPAC name of this complex. First, you must ensure the charge carried by the complex. It is zero because it is a neutral complex. Ammonia oxidation state zero. Each chlorine carries minus one means minus two. So x minus two equals zero. X equals plus two. Oxidation state of platinum in this complex is plus two. So name it. It should be diamine dichloride of platinum. I'll repeat the name again: diamine dichloride platinum two. Yes, observe the options given. So, very first option is diamine dichloride platinum two. Therefore, option A is correct here. Question number one. Which of the following reactions? Occur at the anode during the electrolysis of CuCl2Aq at anode. That is the question. When platinum electrodes are used, look. Four options are given. A, Cu gives. CO2 plus plus two electrons. B, two Cl minus gives Cl2 plus two electrons. Two H2O gives four H plus plus O2 plus four electrons. Option D, four Cl minus plus two H2O gives. 4 HCl plus O2 plus 4 electrons. So this is one of the important types of questions that we expect in the exam. Aqueous solution, you should be very careful. You must observe whether the molten salt or aqueous solution is subjected to electrolysis. Here it is aqueous. Aqueous means this solution contains CO2 plus. 
सी एल माइनस एच प्लस वो एच माइनस ये क्वियस मीन्स एच प्लस एंड वो एच माइनस बोथ ऑफ दैम विल बी देयर नेचुरली नेगेटिव आयन गोस तू द एनोड सो द आंसर कैन बी आइडर सी एल माइनस और वो एच माइनस वन point that we will definitely tell in the class while doing electrochemistry under faraday's laws of electrolysis the reduction potential the potential the discharge potential of cl minus is less than that of oh minus that you must remember let me repeat it again the discharge potential of cl minus is less than that of oh minus so whenever the solution contains cl minus and oh minus cl minus are discharged in preference to oh minus that means cl minus gets discharged oh minus remain in the solution so cl minus loses an electron to become cl or cl minus becomes cl plus cl a cl plus ab or a half cl2 plus cl Uh, yes, multiply through throughout by two. Two Cl minus gives Cl two plus two electron. This is the reaction that takes place at anode. Therefore, option B is correct here. Be very attentive and careful in such questions. Moving on to the question number two. Two electrolytic cells. One containing acidified FeCl2, another containing FeCl3, are subjected to electrolysis, are connected in series and subjected to electrolysis. The amount of iron, the ratio of the iron deposited at cathode during electrolysis. Options are three is to one, two is to one, one is to one. Three is to two. These are the options. Obviously, this is a question on the second law of electrolysis. In series means same quantity of current is passed through both these solutions. When same quantity of current is passed through solutions of two electrolytes, the mass of the substance discharged. is directly proportional to its equivalent mass here mass of fe2 plus divided by mass of fe3 plus is equal to equivalent mass of fe2 plus divided by equivalent mass of fe3 plus mass of fe2 plus discharged divided by mass of fe3 plus discharged equals Equivalent mass of the respective ions. Equivalent mass equals atomic mass divided by valency. Valency is two. Here, because it is iron, atomic mass is same. Valency is three. So it will be three by two, or three is to two. Option D is the correct answer for this. Question number three. The number of Coulombs of electricity required for the reduction of one mole of MnO4 minus to Mn2 plus is option A 96,500 coulombs 1.93 into 10 to the power of 5 coulombs 4. 83 into 10 to the power of 5 coulombs, 9.65 into 10 to the power of 5 coulombs. These are the four options. MnO4 should be reduced to Mn2 plus one mole of MnO4 minus is to be reduced. How much electricity is required for this in coulombs? Look, in this reduction. You just observe. Uh, yes, what is the oxidation number of manganese here? Plus seven. Here it is plus two. So the oxidation number of manganese has to reduce from seven to two. 
uh, that means what are the difference? 5. Reduction means addition of electrons. How many electrons to be added? 5 moles. Plus 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now the charge is balanced. Look, uh, 5 moles of electrons means 5 Faraday. 1 mole of electron corresponds to 1 Faraday. 5 Faraday means 5 into 96,500 coulombs. So 5 into this, 5 5s are 25, 32, 3, 5 9s are 45 plus 3, 48, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4.825 into 10 to the power of 5 coulombs. So the answer is nearer to this. So option C. Simple. Plus 7, plus 2. Difference is 5. So MnO4 minus oxidation number has to be reduced by 5 units. That means 5 moles of electrons must be added. 5 moles of electrons corresponds to 5 Faraday. 5 Faraday means so many Coulomb. Now let us look into the some CT questions in atomic structure. Question number 1. For how many orbitals the quantum number n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, m is equal to plus 2 are possible. So in case of n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 in this, L is equal to 0, 1, 2 and M is equal to 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Means here for a plus 2, it is only one orbital. Therefore, here the if n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2 and m is plus 2, only one orbital is possible. The option A is 1, option B is 2, option 3 is C, C is 3 and D is 4. Our question number 1, option A is correct. Question number in question number 2, in the ground state, an element has 13 electrons. In the ground state, the element has 13 electrons in the M shell. The element, the element is, which is that element? Now, the 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. This is K. This is L, K, L, M. Here there are 13 electrons. So that means here in this 3s2, 3p6, then 3d3, that no, 3d5. Because here in this 6 plus 2, 10, uh, out. and plus 5. So 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3, 13 electron in a yum shell. Then when you are writing like this means there must be a electron in 4s, the 4s has 2 electrons. So what the yum shell has what? 13 electron. Then it is totally when you count. So it becomes 2 plus 2 and 6 that is 10 10 plus 13, 23 plus, sorry, uh, sorry, 2 plus 2, 6, 18, 20, then here it is 25. It becomes 25. If, the, if it is 25, it should be manganese. Now let, uh, let us look into this. A is cobalt, B is chromium, C is nickel and D is iron. That means there is no manganese. Then one more will get like this if we change this number into 1. If we change number into 1, 
then it becomes 24 then it is chromium just I told you 3d5 is stable and 4s1 is stable it is a chromium uh, atom therefore it is question number 2 option is B correct option is B, B for question number 2 question number 3 which is not true with respect to cathode rays the cathode rays so the rays when when we pass a electric discharge in a discharge tube at low pressure the atom gives out electrons electrons are moving towards the cathode that particle ray of particles are called cathode rays now a, a, a stream of electron yes cathode ray is a stream of electrons b charged particle electron is negatively charged and that is also correct c move with speed same as that of light since it is a particle light it is not as speed as light it is one tenth of the speed of light therefore one which is not true respect to the cathode rays is C so the correct option for question number 3 is C now we go for question number 4 in question number 4 an element M has an atomic mass 19 and atomic number 9 its ion is represented by so atomic number is 9 you know that atomic number is 9 let us write down electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 you follow this 2s2 then 2p here x2 2p y2 2p z1 you need not be anyone you can make 2p x1 and this now in a this one always the valence shell the atom tries to undergo a reaction because it wants to give up or take electrons such that their valence shell should be 8 electrons now in this case 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 plus 1 that means it is very much intended to take the electron to attain stability that means one extra electron is added therefore m takes one electron forming m minus so the the ionic state in this case is m minus so a is m plus b is m2 plus c is m minus d is m2 minus the for question number 4 c is the correct option question number 5 in question number 5 the spectrum of he plus is expected to be similar to that of h or li or na or he the spectrum of he plus he contain two electrons so and he plus means it has lost one electron he plus has lost one electron means it has only one electron that means the spectrum of he plus is similar to the spectrum of h it is also uni electron atom therefore in this the question number 5 a is the correct option 